In this episode of The Russell Brown Show, I'd like to talk about the Spot Healing Brush Tool here inside of Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now there's something new here, right here at the top, it's called Content Aware. You can of course use Content Aware for filling areas in, but you can also paint them in with this brush. Check this out. In this project, I want to get rid of these wires going across this image. I can of course go in with this tool, select it, as you can see here, set up a brush, and in this particular case I have a fairly hard edge brush. I seem to get my best results, by the way, from a hard edge brush. I set up the size, and I make sure that Content Aware is selected right here. And since I'm only working with one layer, I do not need to select Sample All Layers, but you might want to consider that on other projects. So now, of course, I can just click and drag and paint over these wires, let go, it will then process and eliminate it. It's pretty darn cool. But here's some other tips and techniques that might be helpful with working with this tool. First of all, I like to reduce the size of this brush down to the smallest size I can possibly get and still cover over the wire. I use my open bracket to do that, or of course I can go up here to the flyout menu and adjust the size there as well. And then here's a tip and technique. I click once just by clicking right on a point within the image, right there. Then I hold down my shift key and I click again at the next point right there. I wait for it and it then follows each click as I click and of course I'm holding down the shift key while I'm doing this so that it follows the path. And you can see here, I can go across the blue sky and across the building and do a really remarkable adjustment to it and get rid of that wire. So that's really great. I can go through my project point by point with the shift key. But wait, there's another more interesting technique. Let me zoom back out on this image a bit and then go over here to my paths panel right here. Because I've drawn a path. If I click on my wire path right here, I can then load that path as you see here. If I go into my work area, I can hold down my command key on the Macintosh or my control key on the PC, which will then temporarily adjust my current tool to become this arrow tool. I can then come in here, click on these points and show you that of course this is a path. And I've drawn these paths with the pen tool. So I can go over an image and draw lines across each of the paths as you see here and then check this out I'm going to deselect away from the path here within the paths panel then select it again because I need to have a nice clean selection then by selecting my tool over here in this case it was the spot healing brush tool and I have content aware selected and it's the correct size all I do now is hit the Enter key. The Enter key will stroke all of the selected paths, in this case I've selected all of them, strokes them all with that brush and there you have it. You're done. It's cleaned up the entire image with a single entry of the Enter key because I had a path going across all of the wires. There you have it. It's the content aware ability to stroke over these wires, in this case with the Spot Healing Brush tool, to quickly eliminate problems with wires. Give it a try.